chapter number 1 field effect transistor it is also called FET. FET belongs to the family of a transistor and FET is a three terminal unipolar semiconductor voltage control device. In this device the total current is due to only uh, only one majority charge case hence we can say it is a, a unipolar device. The output current is controlled by an electric field or a voltage. The FET is are used for variety of applications like BJT only and we can use FET for amplification purpose, switching purpose etcetera. Uh, types of field effect transistor, uh, FET is broadly classified into two types, one is called JFET, another one is called MOSFET. MOSFET is also called IGFET and here JFET is classified into two types, one is called N channel JFET, another one is called P channel JFET. The MOSFET or IGFET again classified into two types, one is called enhancement type of MOSFET, next one is called depletion type of MOSFET. Enhancement type of MOSFETs again classified into two types, one is called N channel E MOSFET, another one called P channel E MOSFET. Depletion type of MOSFET again classified into two types, one is called N channel D MOSFET, another one is called P channel D MOSFET. Advantages of FET over BJT. In the case of BJT, the total current is due to both majority and also minority charge carriers, but in the case of FET, the total current is due to only majority charge carriers. Therefore, and also uh, uh, FET offers very high input impedance than BJT and it is almost in mega ohm range and it has more temperature stable than BJT and physically smaller than BJT. Uh, BJT is bipolar, in the case of BJT, the conduction is due to both whole and also electron or majority and also minority charge carriers, but in the case of FET, FET is uni, unipolar and uses only one type of current carrier and also FET has less noise compared to BJT. The FET operates by the effect of an electric field on the flow of electrons through a single type of semiconductor material uh, this is why FET is sometimes called a unipolar transistor. Circuit symbol of N channel JFET and P channel JFET is shown. The FET consists of three important uh, terminals namely uh, source, drain and also gate. The terminal source the name itself indicates this provides majority charge carriers or we can say charge carriers for the conduction and the terminal uh, drain. Uh, collects the majority charge carriers or charge carriers which are supplied by the source terminal and the gate controls the flow of charge carriers in the circuit. The charge carriers always moves from only uh, source to drain and gate terminal generates an electric field that controls the flow of current in the circuit and majority charge carriers flow from only source to drain and in the case of N channel FETs or N channel devices the electrons flows requires VDS or drain source voltage is greater than 0 volts and in the case of P channel devices the flow of volts requires a VDS less than 0 volts. Construction of N channel JFET. On N type semiconductor bar two heavily doped P type semiconductors semiconductor regions are diffused on either side of the N side bar or a bar and this forms two p-n junction on either side of the bar and the space between p-n junction is also called a channel and two p-type semiconductor regions are internally connected to have a single terminal called gate. Two ohmic contacts are made to semiconductor bar named as drain and also source and with suitable uh, voltage, accra, uh, voltage across source and drain uh, charge carriers uh, flows from source to drain. And the construction of P channel JFET is very much similar to that N channel JFET and it is considered of P type channel and also N type gate. Operation of JFET, here we have to consider only uh, we can consider N channel JFET with gate to source voltage VGS and also drain to source voltage VDS, uh, VDS and the depletion regions are extended towards the channel by the application of reverse bias voltage VGS. <coughs> 